What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves another great video for you guys today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Electivire alongside with a Magmortar team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. And shout out to my boy Messiah for dropping this team. It looks fire. Guys, if you are interested in dropping me Pokemon Sword and Shield teams, head to the link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube on Instagram. Go over there, DM me your teams, and I will probably or definitely take a look at them and have a chance to play them on my channel. But rocking out on this team, like I said, First Pokemon is Magmortar. We got the air balloon, so ground moves ain't coming in until they actually hit us first. We got the flame body to give some burns off. Then we got heat wave and overheat for stab, and then our coverage moves of solar beam and T-bolt. Next one, we got the one and only Electivire with motor drive. Motor drive, what that allows us to do. If we get hit by an electric move, we boost our speed up by one stage and we can get more from there. This thing also has a life orb for more damage. And then wild charge for our only stab move. And then a bunch of coverage moves with ice punch, rock slide, and EQ. Behind my face cam, we got the one and only Tapu Koko. Gives that, us that electric surge, which helps out uh, the electric fire. We have the expert belt for uh, super effective moves. Then we have Dazzle Green for stab, discharge for stab, electric ball, and protect. Discharge will actually hit all opponents and trigger motor drive for electric fire. So that's huge for both. Damage, stab, and electrifier speed boost. Right next one, we got support mon Whimsicott with the prankster ability and focus dash. We got moon blast, light screen. We can actually set up the screens with this team, which I absolutely love. We got the tailwind and the taunt. Such a good support mon. I absolutely love Whimsicott. Suicune in the bottom left corner with the pressure and the left herbs, and that one has reflect. Whimsicott has light screen, so we can set up screens with either or of these Pokemon. We got Snarl, Tailwind, and Scald as well. Then in the final spot is another Pokemon that hits hard and is so strong all around. We got Gyarados. Intimidate ability drops physical attack. We got that Assault Vest for special attackers. And we got Aqua Tail for stab. Bounce for our flying stab move. Power Whip for coverage. And then Outrage for our last coverage move. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Electivire and Magmortar team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy is a heavy sandstorm team with the Tyranitar, the Extral, and the Lycanroc. I believe Lycanroc actually learned Sand Rush. I'm almost positive he does, so that's gonna be it's gonna be a little scary. That's definitely gonna be a little scary here. How should I roll out? I kinda gotta take weather control, so I'm definitely gonna bring in that Gyarados. Gyarados is gonna be huge, especially for that Intimidate. I really do like that Intimidate, and I would love to set up a Reflect. Um, are you Reflect Mon right here? Do you Reflect? I believe so. Yeah, you have the Reflect. I say we actually lead maybe you, both you guys. Did I leave both you guys? I think the Suicune and Whimsicott get off a of Tailwind, set up the screens. Or do I just go here? Withdraw. I kind of want the speed. I kind of need the Tailwind, so I'm going to go both of you. I'm definitely bringing Gyarados. Then in the final spot, um, I, don't, I really do want Magmortar here. But again, he has two water Pokemon, which are kind of scaring me. That's the reason I would rather bring like the Tapu Koko or the Electivire. I think Electivire would be a little bit better, considering it has that Life Orb. Or Coco wouldn't be bad either. Let's go, let's go Electivire, because I'm kind of scared if he brings that Ferrothorn in the back end. Then I would just eat up my, uh, my what's called no problem. My Tapu Coco. And then we have a bunch of cover moves with Electivire, but hopefully we can hop through our first battle and get this video started off on a good note with a big fat W. But yeah, dude, the Sandstorm's, Sandstorm's gonna be tough. I kind of saw that coming. He's definitely gotta be leading it, or some sort of it. Let's see who he goes into. He's gonna go T-Tar and Extra. Yeah, so he leads it. That's a fair little statement there. I'm definitely going to set up a Tailwind, try to start uh, getting some speed. Trying to get around these guys. But the Rock is totally scary. The Rock is terrifying. Man. Not a fan of the Rock. The pressure does come out. We do have Intimidate on our Gyarados, so when we pop out, that is going to be huge. I maybe should have led that and then swapped it out, but I definitely got to get that Reflect set up 100%. We'll, ref we'll Reflect and we will Tailwind this turn, which could help us out. And I could potentially get some burns, which is actually really, really nice. So I'm going to go here. And they both have Tailwind, which is absolutely nice. Which I actually could have just let Suicune and... Gyarados. I could have just let boom. But I'm just gonna go in here. Let's get it rolling. Reflect's gonna get off and then uh that one as well. The Suicune can announce speed now. That's the real question. He's not gonna die much, which I really, really like. He's probably gonna just try to uh, drop like rock slides or something along those lines. And then I could just start moon blasting, throwing scalds on the extra drill. Rock slides coming out here. I really don't wanna drop a scald over onto the what's it called? The T Tar, because he's gotta be weakness policy, right? He gotta be weakness policy. Who can eat up all day? We'd love to see it. We got leftovers as well. The buffet damage coming around. That's fine. Definitely got a scald up on that, uh, that what's called, that extra. Because the T-Tar has that policy. I really don't want to double up into it. I might swap my Wimscott. I might swap, yeah. I think I'm going to swap my Wimscott. But then the rock is so scary. The rock is so scary here. I'm going to like it by idea. So we just let Wimscott do its thing. 
Um, I, I'm gonna just set up a light tree here while we can. While we can, I might as well set up a light tree. Yeah, maybe he has a special attackers in the back. Maybe we'll help out later. But light tree's gonna get popping here. So we got double screen set up. Cause I really don't want a proc policy. Uh, Skull should be able to come out. Do a little bit. Do a little bit. There we go. Nice damage. Give me the burn. Show me the burn. You love to see it. No burns. No burns. And this thing swords it. So we do outspeed it. So we should be able to take it out. No problem. Next shot. Unless he dynamaxes. I should double up into it. And T-Tar's gonna go for another stone edge. Which is totally fine. Can you take me out? I kind of want you to take me out. I'm gonna get the buffets. We still have two more turns in a tailwind. No. One more turn? Or two more turns? One or two. Because my left arrow is popping off. Uh, definitely scald across again. I might protect and just take out my sweeping. I'm definitely gonna scald here. And then I think I just, uh. I don't know what I do here. I don't. I do not wanna go for that. Let me just taunt the T-Tar so it can't protect. I don't wanna proc the policy. That's the thing. I really don't wanna proc the policy. And of course, we can't taunt it. I don't wanna proc the policy. That's the last thing I wanna do. So, extra goes down, which I absolutely love to see. That's huge. Okay. You're down. Can you take out my Suicune now? He's gonna lash out. Is that Suicune gone or are you gonna have to win? He's gonna take out my Suicune. Okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Again, I just can't have that what's called coming out. I cannot have that weakness policy coming out just yet. Because then he would just be running me. Now we get the Gyarados out. The Intimidate is gonna pop, which is huge. Which is huge because that's gonna go minus one on a big physical attacker. And hopefully he throws out another physical attacker. Hopefully he does. So we get a nice little double. Like him Beautiful. 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 You love to see it. But now he's got to go. Now Lycanroc's 100% got to go. We are Tailwind up. We have the Reflect. Um, How much? Uh, how many turns left in the Tailwind? That's the question. One maybe? Yeah, one. But we're definitely Dynamaxing here. We're definitely Dynamaxing. We're definitely changing up the weather. And we're getting after his Lycanroc here. Because Lycanroc is posing a little bit more of a threat. And now I will proc Policy. Actually. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just double up in the Lycanroc just in case. Who's gonna get the diamonds? I don't know. I wish you so. We have one more turn or two more turns of reflect. We're just. I'm gonna see a double dynamax. My dynamax gonna come out first, so we're gonna be able to change up the weather, which is huge. Which is huge for me. The like not could be sash or it could be. Ill. He might not even be sand rush, but chances are he's sand rush. And that intimidate was huge. So they're minus one on both, both ends, on both ends, which I really really like to see. Let's see who goes first. Is he gonna Dynamax? He's got that. He does not Dynamax here. He's gonna Accelerate, whatever that does. Whatever that does. And he is Life Orb. Okay, so he's gonna go down, and we are gonna probably trigger a Weakness Policy here, which I really don't like. Actually, no, this is a fine turn. This is a fine turn for us. This is a wonderful turn for us. Because we can get off another Tailwind out speed, and then we'll have Rain going. Bop, see you later, Lycan like Rock. He's gone. But we're not triggering. I think he's waiting. He's waiting for that Policy to potentially trigger. So now we got that. He cannot change the weather because he only has two Pokemon left. So he cannot uh, swap unless he goes into like a Sandstorm or a, a Rock Ball. He's going to go for a Stone Edge. We should be able to eat. Again, the minus one and the Reflect is huge on us. Tailwind's out. We're going to set up another one. And we're going to get after his T-Top now. It actually depends who he throws out. He's going to send out Intellion. This could be his next round. But again, we have a Light Screen up. Dude, and I am a Salt Vessel. Would you? I think I got a Geyser over on you now and set up this Tailwind. Yeah, that's the play. We're gonna set up Tailwind, and we're gonna get after his, uh, we're gonna get after his Citar. I mean, I wouldn't mind if he Dynamaxes Inteleon. We got Electivire in the back end. We have a Light Screen up, and we have a Soul Vest on our Gyarados. I'm kind of liking it. So who is he gonna Dynamax? Here comes Dynamax. I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping it's actually Inteleon. I think that'll work a little bit better for us. In the long run. And it is raining, so I think he's gonna go Inteleon. He does. He goes G-Max Inteleon, which, I think T-Tar's gone here. I think T-Tark is going to go down here with a physical water move in the rain. And then I can definitely get off an overgrowth. I think we're thriving this match. I think we're thriving just fine. There goes our tail went back up. Beautiful. We're playing this one pretty solid. Playing this one pretty solid right now. There goes my geyser. Geyser should say see you later to the t -tar. He's got to be policy. Thank God we didn't trigger it all game. Kind of like held off on that. He's got to be gone here. Yep. Dumped on it. Get out of my face, bruh. Get him out of here. Looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. He's got one more Pokemon, which is his Talion. We got overgrowth that can come out here. He's gonna go for an airstream, start boosting his speed over on my Wimscott slot. That's fine. Take out my Wimscott. We got Tailwind. We have Electivire and Gyarados out here. Gyarados has max overgrowth for stab. We have, or not stab, max overgrowth for coverage. We have that assault vest. Light screen should be going now and reflect. But still, that assault vest should, get, should buy us enough time to do some work. Um, Electivire is gonna come out here. 
and we're looking good. We got the light bulb on him as well. We got wild charge. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Which I believe will both these Pokemon outspeed. I know Gyarados should. But we should be fine all around. We should be just chilling. Here. Go with that wild charge. Get that wild charge rolling, baby. Wild charge does come out first. He's good. I close. There you go. I like to buy out speeds them all. And he just absolutely dumps on Teleon or G Max and Teleon in one shot. <laughs> so see you later. And match one goes to a solid way to get this video started. We start off 1 0. And that was some huge recoil damage. That did half of us. That did half of us. But we go 1 0. We can hop to our second battle and try to get a win streak going. Going up against a staple meta team in the second battle. Can we pull out a win? I sure hope so. He's got the Regilecki, the Urshifu, the Rillaboom, and Incineroar with Tapu Fini and Celestial. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. If you guys play Pokemon Sword and Shield on the Rank Ladder, you've definitely seen this team before. Hopefully we can uh, get rolling here and win this. I mean, might lead the Regilecki, which makes me want to lead that Electivire, but we are physical attacking, but kind of makes me want to lead the what's called as well. The Tapu Koko. But then the Surge helps him, and then it's like blah, blah, blah. I definitely want to lead the Wimscott, get off a Tailwind, potentially Taunt, roll out from there. Um, I could lead Suicune. I could lead Suicune. I definitely want to bring in Gyarados, but then that Intimidate drop is definitely scaring me. I don't like that one bit. So we're going to go Wimscott. I think we go Magmortar as well. We go Magmortar as well. We bring Gyarados. And then in the final spot, do I want Cocoa Beans? Do I want Cocoa Beans? It's Cocoa or, or Electabire. And I think Electivire is taking the cake again. I think Electivire is taking the cake again. Let's get him rolling. He has so many coverage moves. He just covers a lot of areas. Especially with that Life Orb. You get the 1.3 times Multiplier. Or damage. It's just a little bit better. Alright. Let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. We got like the same trainer card. He just changed up his outfit. I'm still OG jeans right here. Haven't changed the trainer card. Dante, if you're watching this, hopefully you are. You usually comment on my videos. They don't go unnoticed. But yeah. Let's see how long you can uh you can convince me for to change my trainer card. He's gonna go Oleki and uh and my boy Incineroar over here. We are both special attacking, which is which is fine. I'm chilling with this. Um we're floating here with air balloons. When it comes out, there's nothing. There's nothing. Nothing to us, my dude. Alright, alright. Let's get more in here. I could set up a wonderful little light tree, which I will probably do afterwards. We're gonna do that. That one. And then do I just drop a heat wave? Yeah, just drop a heat wave. Start doing some damage on this red key slot. Get rolling with that. Here comes the pick up. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go after my one Scott. That's fine. I don't think you I don't see you taking out my one Scott here. You know, Volt Switch, that's fine. You know, Volt Switch on me. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Bring out somebody that I can burn. A nice big physical attacker that I can burn. Probably gonna uh, who's he gonna roll on to? Maybe Urshifu. Hopefully I would love to get a burn on Urshifu. Huge. He is gonna go into the fin. He's gonna go into the fin fin. Which is fine. I wish I had heat on. I hate rolling. You just solar beam this thing. Tell it to go home. Alright, let's see what happens here. Here comes my heat wave. It's gonna do nothing. I do have T Bolt, though. I do have T Bolt, which I really, really like. Can I get some burns on somebody? No burns, so definitely Tailwind again. Um. Do I Tailwind or Light Tree? I think I Tailwind. We gotta start taking some uh, speed. We gotta start taking speed, because he's probably gonna take me out with a Flare Blitz. So Tailwind is up. Lovely little town when it's up. I can go into what's called after this as well. I can go into uh, Gyarados after this as well. Do some nice damage on the finish slot. Just beautiful. Gonna go for a Scald. Can we eat up this Scald? Maybe. Probably not. Maybe we do not. So he's gonna pick up the Double Kill. Alright, Double Kill comes out. That way seems rocking Scald over Muddy Water. I usually like the Rock Muddy Water. And this thing's Orb. Okay. This thing's gonna go for a Flare Blitz. He's gonna pick up the Double Kill. Okay, so... He picks up double kill. We got speed now, and we got Electivire coming out here and Gyarados. So that's huge. That's huge. No screens though, which I'm kind of disappointed in. Kind of disappointed in. Let's go Gyarados and Electivire. I feel like the Dynamax should go to Gyarados. We can boost speed. We can do a lot. With that. Let's get Gyarados out here, my boy. Uh, do I go for the Geyser? That's real quick. Do I go for the Geyser? Or do I go for the Airstream? I'm definitely going for the punch straight onto that uh that thing. So we know he has Electa or uh, Regilecki in the back. You know he has Regilecki in the back. Uh, what other Pokemon do I think he's rocking in the back? Hmm. I'm kind of fine with everything. I do want to set the, the rain. As much as I want the Airstream boost, I rather set the rain. I don't think any of those Pokemon are really eating up a water shot, so I'd rather go into that. And I'd rather just wild charge into the top boot finish slot and roll from there. Take it out. Actually, I do not have to. I could drop a rock slide. Or I could just go straight for an EQ. I'd rather just secure that kill. 
We will take the recoil damage. It's not gonna be much. It's not gonna be that much. All right. The Don Max and you. Again, he has the Regilecki in the back end, which I think we should be fine up against. We have the Tailwind. We're gonna have Tailwind probably for the rest of the match. And if I hit that thing with a uh, move in the lane, and I have, I could EQ it if I wanted to as well. Because Gyarados won't take damage. He's flying type. I love Gyarados. I love Gyarados for competitive. I feel like he's so easy to play and very, very fun too. So Finny does uh, go with the deck. That's fine. Incineroar is going to go down here. Incineroar is going to go down here. It's totally fine. See you later, Incineroar. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, dude. Get him going. Get him going. We got the rain buzzing now for you, boy. I'm sorry. I can start air streaming if I really want to make sure I do a lot of damage. We can just roll into a... Uh, a geyser but again speeds on our side because we have how many turns probably i think two more turns left in town it should be two we just set up that town we legit just set it up red like he's gonna pop okay so red like is gonna pop here i feel like i have to geyser it. i'm gonna geyser i'm gonna throw a geyser and i am going to drop an eq this is just so i can make sure i pick up the ko i think top of finny goes down to this eq even though it's not stab I still feel like the life form damage will give it enough enough juice to kind of put it through. And top, I don't see I don't see Tabu Finny doing doing too much to us anyway. Maybe a scald on the Mylike Devire. He's gonna die max to Regilecki here. But I'm hoping we're both we both should be able to outspeed it. We both should be able to outspeed it. I know I know this thing is very very fast. There goes Regilecki. This is like his last chance. If he pulls this off, we're dead. If he gets off of Max Lightning, uh, Gyarados goes down. I mean, maybe he can eat up with the Soul Fest. Soul Fest is gonna help it out a little bit. So come on, Gene, you got this. EQ comes out. Gyarados says, yeah, get it out of my face. How much damage are we doing? Can we take out the Finny? We do get enough juice for the Finny. If Gyarados goes first, I can see this taking it out. Come on, Gary. I'll speed him, boy. Come on, Gary. You got the tailwind, baby. You do not. Eat it up, please. Your assault vest it. Oh, my. Assault vest coming up big. Did assault vest just win me in this game? Dude, Regilecki is so fast. He's out speeding a Gyarados in the, in the tailwind, which is nuts, yo. Tell me this thing KOs. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Get it out of my face. Yes, sir, yo. Assault Vest wins us the match? Oh, it should. It should. We still have Electivire, full HP, chilling here. And then we got my Gyarados, who should be able to outspeed whatever's next Pokemon, because no one's really faster than Regilecki. Yo, Assault Vest leading us down to 14 HP. You'd love to see it, baby. You love to see it. And it's Rillaboom. And it's Rilla. He might just grassy glide on me. Probably gonna grassy glide on me. And I'm gonna just start hitting up on this thing. I don't know. How, how, how is this match gonna go? I could guard. I could guard. I could. I cannot guard. I cannot. I don't have it. I'd rather air stream if I can get that off. And I'm just gonna start dropping ice punches. I'm gonna start punching this thing all with ice. Let's get it. Grass guy just come out. I would have guarded if I had it. I would have totally guarded if I had it. I knew that grass guy was coming through. We could have saw that turn. So he's got to hope that a grass guy takes me out. Right? He goes ice punch. He's got to hope it takes me out. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze. We do get some HP from the grassy. Who set the grassy terrain? Oh, he came out here and set it. I was going to say, I didn't use the overgrowth. And when Peter's out, I think Electivire's speed is faster than that thing. Let me see. Let's see. So I think he has to go for Grass Guy, which I see us eating up. Yeah, I think we're faster than him normally. Come on, finish this match off. Finish it off, baby. He might protect, try to get a little bit of HP back. He does not. Ice Punch comes through. That should be game. That should be game. Electivire coming up big. Electivire and Gyarados doing work left and right. First two battles, catch two dubs. We're 2 0. We're going to hop into our third battle. Look for that perfect record for you guys. Let's go. Let's get it. Sitting at 2 0, and you guys know the deal. Your boy's looking for that perfect record for the jeans online gaming community, baby. We looking for it for you guys. This guy's got a Venusaur Chlorophyll team right here. You got the Venusaur Torkoal, Landorus with that Intimidate. Before we got to the potentially set up Trick Room, kind of blow out with that Torkoal. He also has Regilecki and the Urshfu. Again, a lot of Pokemon we see before. Um, hmm. Hmm, kind of want to, kind of want to go with that Electivire. Electivire Coco combo? I kind of want to go for that. I kind of want to set up a Tailwind at the same time. I kind of want to roll out my border. There's so much I want to do. There's just so much I really want to do. But I could see him leading the Lando. And I need to get off a Tailwind. So I think the Suicune 
Whimsicott combo. Coming in hot with the Gyarados in the back end. And I really, really want to go Electivire. I really do. Electivire is just so dang good, man. He's so good. I, we got to go with this squad. We got to go with this squad here. Coco's going to ride the benches all this match. Is, again, you guys seen Coco before, but combo with Coco would be, again, send a discharge into the, the Electivire. Kind of motor drive up, get the speed boost, and start rolling out from there. And Magmortar, we showed him off like once he died early on, but Magmortar, you guys kind of, he's just a special attacker. He's just a special attacker. That's really it. But Electivire, I feel like, shines way more than uh, Magmortar. He just, especially this one right here. We got the life orb. We got all the coverage moves. He can do absolute work. He's going to go in with these two. We're going to be able to come up here. And I can set up a light screen with, uh, oh, with Whimsicott. Let's set up the light screen first. Br -br 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 -br. Drought is buzzing. The drought's buzzing. I really want to change with weather, but I saved that for, I guess, Garrett is. Uh, do I set up the light screen right here? We are Sash. We are Sash. I am going to set up a light screen turn one. And I can tail in with you. I totally forgot I can do that. I totally forgot I can do that. And that is what I'm going to do. Actually, never mind. We're going to tailwind with you. Make sure that gets off. And I'm going to just start snarling. That's the play. That's the play. Because the tailwind automatically gets off with Wimscott. We're Prankster. And then we can outspeed and start lowering that special attack all around. Here comes that Dynamax. Dynamax. Blah, blah, blah. And then with this going on, I can just, uh... I can just keep snarling around, you know? I can just keep snarling and start trying to set up screens left and right. And hopefully we can just pester around enough to kind of wear down this drought, wear down the Dynamaxes, and then be able to roll out with uh, my two strong back end Pokemon. That's my plan for this match. That's my plan. Wear and tear these guys down, waste out Dynamax, G-Maxes and stuff, and then uh, have Electivire and Garrodors like they did in the first two battles come out here, clutch them up, and roll out and do a lot of damage. Special attack's dropping. He's gonna go for a Vine Lash. That's fine. So we can probably gonna get that one here. Nope, so we can eat. Thank you. So we're gonna be able to get get off another snarl, which I absolutely love. Unless oh, he's gonna go for a heat wave. Never mind. We are not because the traps and kill us, right? So both of our Pokemon go down here. Which I'm kind of fine with. Again, they're both minus one. Vine Lash is gonna take us both out. Vine Lash is tough news. Tough news, yeah. I can airstream and start speed boosting. Would be not bad. Um, I just gotta go in there. Yes, I do have a soul vest as well, which is huge. Which I love. I absolutely love. Gary just comes out. And Gary, he's Gary. Gary the Gyarados. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know what that little jingle's from? What TV show that's from? Oh, wait. Wimscott does not take Vine Lash. Light screen, though. Light screen, baby. And now we're going for the guys are changing up the weather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta change up the weather. And get that light screen. Oh my god, Garrus will be Garrus sitting nice. Garrus is sitting nice. Yeah, get that Torkoal out of my face. So he's gonna wanna, wanna get that drought back in here. That's totally fine. Oh, ooh, you're gonna take a little shot from Oh, Lando's gonna take a nice bit of damage here. So he's gonna get that off that intimidate. Which is which is pretty good. He's probably just gonna swap back out. This actually Nah, I don't think he's gonna kill it. But again, light screen, minus one on the Venusaur. We got that soul vest on my boy. Uh, we should be, we should be uh, sitting pretty well with him. But that's tough that you're gonna go minus one of my guys. This, one, this one's gonna come up. Uh, this one's gonna be a little, gonna be a little uh, close, I think. But if I can get rid of this Lando, it'd be huge for my Electivire. I get rid of this Lando. I don't think we're gonna get be able to get rid of this Lando with this Geyser. He's gonna guard. Okay, you love that turn. We love that turn. We love that turn a lot. Light screen's gonna get off. Oh, yeah. Wimscott survives another turn here. Wimscott survives another turn. I'm gonna be able to do this. No KO, obviously. But now we got rain. Now we have rain. He's probably gonna swap back into the slot. Which is, uh, is that good? Is it bad? He's gonna swap that slot. That's the real question. He's gonna swap that slot. That's the real question. And I just Moonblast over here. Or what else can I do? Yeah, I think I just Moonblast over here. The airstream. I say I said just drop another geyser. I say I just drop another geyser. Get rid of this Lando, and or get rid of the uh, the Turkle. Yeah, or not get rid of the Turkle, but do damage over on it. Change up that weather once again. Now, are you outspeeding my Gyarados and Tailwind? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Moonblast comes out. No, that's my uh, that's my whimsy. 
Sorry, Wimsy. And he's gonna be able to come out here and drop another Intimidate, which I don't like at all. I don't like one bit. He's gonna take out my Wimscott right here. Wimscott goes down, rains back out. And do I, I should have one more turn, which I will just send an Airstream over onto the, the Venusaur. I'm not a fan of that, uh, what's going on? I'm not a fan of the, uh, the Lando. He's gonna intimidate, drop my Gyarados and my Electabuzz again. I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. Do I drop a, wait, do I drop a Geyser on that slot? That's the real question. Do I drop a Geyser on that? They do have Ice Punch, which I feel like Ice Punch over onto the Venusaur is fine. And then just another Geyser. Or do I start boosting our speed? I could go for Airstream. I might just do. That's what I think. This is what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just Ice Punching onto the Turtle, kind of. But I could see him totally swapping. And then just, just Airstreaming over here. I think that's the play. I think it's fine. I can see him swapping back into Lando. Right? Let me just rock out with the Ice Punch on it. We're making reads. We're looking for reads. Yeah, there's a swap. He's going back into Lando. Going for that Intimidate drop. That's huge. That's huge. That Intimidate drop. Th those Intimidate drops might win in the game. Which is scary. But we are going to get a speed boost, which I really, really need. I don't think we take out the... Maybe we take out the Venusaur? I hope so. That'd be huge. Here goes our Ice Punch. Take him out, please. Maybe, maybe not. We do pick up the KO. Okay, so nice read by me. Actually, read it into that Lando swap. Let me pick up the double KO. We do get a speed boost here. Max Airstream comes through. This thing's buried, dude. Koba buried. You biscuit. Yo, what you doing? Did this a KO'd him? It might have. That would have been close. That would have been close. That would have been close. But yo, that Intimidate's coming up. Dude, yo, we're minus 2 1 Intimidate. Oh, we get the speed boost, which is going to be nice when Tailwind ends. And what are you going to go for? I'm going to go for Ace. I don't like you one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. I'm gonna be able to roll into an ice punch here. Did you really put me to sleep? You really just slumped me, dude? You really doing that? Tailwind's gone. We got that speed boost, so we should be fine. Actually, no, Venus is gonna be able to speed us again. Don't put my elected buyer to sleep. I don't like this. He's putting me to sleep. Torkoal's coming back out. Mm -hmm. This dude's playing good. This dude's definitely playing good with the swaps. Uh, for some reason, Torkoal and Venusaur is always, always a struggle, man. Always a struggle for me. It's just, it's just a tough combo because Torkoal rocks out. It's like a truck. You gotta worry about him. You gotta worry about the Venusaur. I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch. Hopefully, maybe we wake up. We're not gonna be able to do a lot of damage. Maybe we just bounce. I think Torkoal's got it. No. Wait, I think Torkoal's got to go. We're gonna go, we're gonna do that. I know we're sleeping. We're just gonna go for a bounce. Let's see, let's see how this plays out. Venusaur should be fast. Let's see how sleep powder. Oh, he's not missing, man. He's not missing these sleep powders, man. Let's see, wake up, boys. Wake up. Oh, no, I'm not liking this one. I like the virus slump. Took some night cool. He's out like a light. Same thing with Gyarados. Z's all day, baby. Heat wave coming in here. We should be able to eat up. Yeah, we eat. Need you guys to wake up here. Need you boys to wake up. Go for that ice punch. I guess I guess I'll go for an aqua tail. One minus two. Intimidate definitely coming in clutch. Definitely coming in clutch. Same thing with the sleep powders. But Intimidate was definitely MVP. We're gonna end up losing this one, but not bad video. Two and one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sludge bomb. Bleh. See you later. Oh, you go after Gavardus. Hold up. Wait a minute. Nope. Electivire did not wake up. A boy did not wake up. Gary does. Gary's go for an aqua tail. Aqua tail. You're not gonna do too much. <laughs> <laughs> Did like a teensy amount. Missed my Electivire. Hold up. Wait a minute. He's gonna put me to sleep again. And I get a burn? <laughs> I'm a water type. I'm a water type. I I live in the water. That's my problem. I live in the water. And how am I gonna get burned? It's like me burning on you. Like what like what is this? I don't get it. This game, dude. Mechanics don't line up sometimes. I am a water type. Show me a video of you burning water, and then I, then I'll then we can talk. Then we can talk. Ice Punch should be able to pick up the KO. Okay, get Venus right out of here. Get him out of here. Imagine we win this game. I need my boy to miss both my Pokemon. 
even to miss both my Pokemon in order for us to bless this one up. Miss them both. Miss them both. There's one. He missed someone. I like to buy him. Miss Gary. Gary, eat it. Ah, oh, man. Gary, come on. Alright, hold up. Match, match isn't over yet. I can EQ. I can EQ. EQ should be able to take out Torkoal. It's super effective. But just somebody explain that burn. I just don't I just don't get it. Oh, actually no, Retro Lucky's out speed of me. Maybe maybe you go for an electric move? Maybe you do that? Maybe? Just just maybe? Maybe you're all electric out? Yo, 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 <laughs> hold up. Clutch it up. Clutch it up, Electivire. Clutch it up, do it. Go ahead, do him dirty. Yo. We outspeed. We should outspeed, right? If he only has electric moves, we win this game. Please. <laughs> Yo, please tell me. Please tell me. Go ahead. Go for T-Bolt. Or we outspeed. We're plus two. I am a god sent from the heavens to play Pokemon. They put me on this earth to play Pokemon. Let's go. Clutching it up, Electivire OP. Electivire OP, he wins me that match. We go 3-0 just when he thought everything was done. We thought this match was over. We clutch it up. We go 3-0. Let's get it. I just gained tons of respect for the Pokemon Electivire. I have never used him that well. That was amazing. I always loved Gyarados. I knew he was a stud in Pokemon. So he rocked out great for a save. But Electivire? Popping off in all three battles. We go 3-0. Shout out to my boy Mosiah for dropping an absolute banger of a team for today's video. I absolutely loved everything about the Wimpscott and Suicune were great support mods. Gyarados, absolute stud. Electivire was that sleeper pick. Did some mean work. Clutched up all three battles. Got the final kill in the first two. And just showed off in that third one. That was phenomenal. That was so hype. Top of Coco, we didn't get to show him off. You guys already know with him what he does and magmortar is just a nice little back-end special attacker but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out everyone